I'm Sir Tap Tap, and this is Bullet Heaven by Matt Verzak. If you haven't heard of him, he's pretty freaking awesome. He made Epic Battle Fantasy, and it is also an awesome se series. And it's on Congregate, blah blah blah. More blah blah about Congregate. These are three awesome games he made. This is his Facebook page. You should add him on. You should like his page on Facebook right now. That is an order. Alright, so credits. I shall show you them. Matt Rosak. Music by Halkionic Falcon X, apparently. Inspired by Tohu, blah blah blah. Bullet Hell Shooters in general. Which, I love Bullet Hell Shooters, which is why I cried tears of manly joy when I saw this. There's some options. Let's see if my options are set. No mouse controls. I despise the mouse controls, but uh... There's a reason for that. Let's leave all of that stuff on. And there's cheats in case you suck. But I'm not going to do that. So let's go ahead and get to the... Well, let's show you the controls. There's mouse or arrow keys to move. Mouse controls are by default. These are your buttons. I have these mapped to my controller because I can't stand playing this with a keyboard. But I'm just used to playing bullet hell games on my... On console. Or generally with my thingy, my controller. We're gonna play as no legs, because he shoots more bullets. And let's just start. There's an upgrade system, but we can't use it yet. Press P or escape to pause. We don't need to pause yet. So if you look on your right, the uh, green bar is your attack charge. The more, the more green there is, the more shots you shoot. The yellow one is your, uh, magic bar, kind of, I guess. It does your special attack like that. And, you know, the more it's charged, the better that attack is. It starts out like... Oops. That was the bomb button! <laughs> Bombs erase all of the bullets on the screen, like in every other bullet hell game. And... As it starts off, you shoot, like, terribly slow and awkwardly, but, um, as you get upgrades, you can shoot way freaking faster. So let's go ahead and get some upgrades. Main weapon, sub weapon. Sure. You mostly want to focus around dealing damage. Well, shooting more bullets is generally relevant. More damage only helps in the later levels. Well, it helps in levels after the first few. Now we start seeing some actual bullets on the screen. That's new. I keep pressing the wrong buttons. I tried to set up my controls like I usually play bullet hell games. I think I failed because I'm pressing the wrong buttons. My muscles remember the buttons, my brain does not. Bomb. First few levels, you know, they're all calm and stuff. I'm slightly skeptical about the upgrade system. Generally, I like I like upgrade systems and stuff, especially for shooters, but balance is a big issue in bullet hell games, and I would hate for it to get too easy, which is also why I'm refusing to get any health power-ups. Actually, I get... I got one for a certain boss. I'm not playing the whole game yet, because I actually have to do stuff today. And this game will totally destroy my productivity. It already is, but... I'm going to stop around here. Level something. Ten. Let's buy some upgrades. The money... The item magnet is awesome. It helps you get money way, way, way easier. Go away, mouse. And once we get- ow. Pain! Once we get to a slightly later level, I'll show you, uh... Matt. The other character. He's pretty good against bosses and stuff, but... He shoots less bullets, which is not good for right now. Because everything dies in, like, one hit, anyway. Ow! I figured shields would protect you against that. They do not! Find something every day. 
I'm also not 100% sure how the combos work. There's no indicator for when your combo is going to end. I also really love the bomb effect. It's not just like a boom, it's always something fancy. Which that's something the developers always great at, everything always looks fancy and awesome. Oh, and there's also, um, focus, which is where you slow down. And it also shows you the location of that glowy, uh, box in the middle of my character. That is my hitbox. The hitbox is actually a single pixel, but it's right in the middle there. Oh, hey, it's a boss. It's a pathetically easy one, but still. Focus mode you need for bosses, because look at this. The, you know, you don't want to move too fast or you're going to hit bullets. Also, I should take care of your minions first. Ow, I'm stupid. Also, that was wasteful. Health. Thank you. Oh, he's dead already. Yeah, ideally, you want to take care of the two minions first, but I did not even think about that. Um, is it level? Okay, there we go. Metal earned, yay. There are medals. There aren't, um, congregate, uh, badges yet, but he said he's gonna add those soonish. Let's get some... Let's get some item magnets. Sure. You can always replay levels. That is something I do like about this, is that everything's segregated into smallish levels. Um... Because, you know, you can go back and, you know, you can get perfect on whatevers and challenge your scores. Whereas with a single arcade-style Bullet Hell game, that's, like, absolutely even more insane than Bullet Hell games usually are. I keep pressing the wrong button. And there are Killer Shrooms. I think that may have been the name of the level, actually. Ow, pain. Stop coming from behind like that. I can't shoot back. No fair. Also, I shoot painfully slow. Oh, I have a shield. I In games like this, I have a tendency, a very strong tendency to ignore a great deal of the user interface, because, you know, I'm focusing on not being horribly killed. Ooh, more boss time. Slime Fortress. Um, yeah. Go away, mouse. But I would appreciate, like, a sound cue that shows when your uh, attack bars fill up there, the yellow and green things. Because I am i don't look over there. I mean, like, I can, but in the middle of a boss fight, it'd be nice to know when my attack's fully charged, because I'm not going to look over there. Speaking of bosses, it's boss time. It's pretty easy boss, but still. Oops. I say as I don't even notice when he changes attacks. The boss's attack, ow. In, um, pretty predictable stages, which is commonplace for, uh, oh, I have bombs. For bullet hell things. There you go. That's more of a bullet hell style attack. It's a little easy to dodge, but still. I also have no idea what his health is right now, because um, I'm not looking. So, if the health were more... Well, I don't know. I just never watch the boss's health at times like this. I just dodge and wait till they die. Which is right now. That's excellent. I love the boss music, by the way. I do not like that the enemy... Once the boss dies, the bullets are still around. I find that irksome. It hasn't happened to me yet, but if I do die after killing the boss, I would be very enraged. Let's get some more attackness. Go and move faster. It's always fun. Actually, it's not always fun. In a bullet hell game, you don't want to move too fast, but moving about this speed is perfectly tolerable. Also, it really bugs me that if you notice in the background there, there's always a black line between the repeating background. It's like one pixel, but it's noticeable. And it would bug me a lot less if that got fixed. And now the normal enemies are finally 
trying to, you know, hurt you. Trying. Ow. And I'm slow on the bomb button. That wasn't it, was it? There you go. I also should eventually be unlocking another uh, third character. I don't know what the unlock conditions are for that, but I unlocked her eventually around this point. That reminds me, I should show you the other character I already have. Also, if I stop talking, it's because I'm concentrating. Ow. And failing to do so. There we go. Oh, thanks for giving me the shield at the end of the level. That's nice. Level complete. Oh, we gotta see. Next level unlocked. Let's buy some stuffs. What do I want? More of that. And let's try out Matt. This is Matt from Epic Battle Fantasy. And main shots go straight. Well, you'll see. Main shots do that. Um, they're a bit stronger than uh, the cat's attacks, but also his sub attack is awesome. It's that. It's not so great against these guys, though. So bomb time. Now, you don't want to be close to these guys when they die. Or when you hit them, rather. So shoot stuff the more you hit them. But his sub attack is that big sword thingy. This character is all about the swords, if you did not notice. I like the little dancing bullets. The fancy bullet patterns are always a nice thing in the bullet hell games. Well, it's like a big part of it. The bullets always have to be pretty while they murder you. I mean, what's the point of being murdered by something ugly? That's ridiculous. Let me get over there so I can kill you. Thank you. But yeah, a combo indicator would be kind of nice. Up oh, shield. The shield is kind of broken, in my opinion. Like, I'm not sure if I've ever seen a bullet hell game that gave you a shield that did, took more than a single hit. Now that's more like it, actually shooting some bullets now. And the levels are pretty short, which is, you know, a good thing. Which is also part of why I'm not going to be... Oops. I could have got upgrades. Whatever. Part of my reason to ref of refusing to upgrade health is... Levels are so short you don't really need to. But when I have, like, five hearts to survive the entire game... That's, like, fi 50 times the length of any one of these levels... I want as many hearts as I can get. Wrong button again. His uh, sub attack is interesting in that it doesn't actually get stronger the more uh, charge you have. You can just use it a few more times. And the bullets that follow you are neat too. Ow. Die. If you notice, the items come to me a lot easier than they do they did before. If you keep upgrading your magnet thingy, it gets really easy to get items. Ow! Whoa, that's a lot of stuff. Uh, bomb time. I always forget to use bombs. Oh wow, you're dead already? Stop trying to kill me. Hey, we got nest rank, which is surprising because I got hit twice. Player unlocked. There's Natty. Slower movement. Uh, her aims, her attacks are slightly aimed. You'll see. More bullets. And more magnet. Oh, and her bomb is awesome, too. Some attack. Oh, yeah, and she has sort of, uh... Orbiting... Thingies. I'll show you. This is her sub- No. This is her sub attack. Oh, hello, boss. Right off the bat. Yeah, her attacks sort of lead to the left and right if you move to the left or right. Which... It's pretty slight, so 
it's not really a problem. Like, it won't make you miss, usually. Ow. Oops. Bad place to be. Oh, right, I have bombs. Whatever. Bomb! Her bomb is awesome. Also, I got a heart somehow. That's more like it. Now you're thinking like a bullet hell boss. Ow. Are you dying yet? Oh no, he's not. He's only got half health. That's lovely. I always love the bullet patterns. So fancy and orderly. Ow. I'm stupid. Oh crap, I might die. I died. Oh well. Um, Natty isn't really my favorite character in this. Oh, damage helps kill things. Usually. Usually. Alrighty. Let's not screw up this time. Also, storing my attacks for the boss would probably be a good idea. It's so pretty. You know, even if you don't like the super intense dodging and stuff, you have to admit the bullet patterns are beautiful. Also, uh -oh. crap. Bombs! I always, I always forget I have bombs. Always. I always forget I have bombs until the second after I get hit, and it's no longer helpful to use a bomb. And I occasionally then use a bomb anyway, just for the purpose of wasting bombs. Also, I almost think the health bar for bosses would be better at the bottom, because generally speaking, I'm always hiding at the bottom to dodge bullets. And if the health bar was here, I could see it. But I'm definitely not going to be hiding up near the boss, unless that's somehow helpful to me. Which is rarely the case. Very rarely. Ah, I suck. Um, by the way, it's always, it's definitely very helpful to play this game as uh, zoomed in as you can. Because you want to be very sure of where bullets are and where your hitbox is. At least in situations like this. Ow. Okay, there we go. I don't remember you being this hard, slime boss. This is more dense, but it's not really that bad. Alright, what's your last thing? Oh, there you go. I remember this one. It's pretty. Please die. Thank you! Okie dokie. I can still get hit! Yeah, I do not like that at all. It hasn't become a problem, but uh... Oh, I probably just lost points for that experiment anyway, but whatever. We want more of that. More of that. And more of that. Alright, two more levels. Then I have to be productive. I will finish the game, though. I will finish the hell out of this, but, uh... Ah, sharks! This is why sharks are so deadly. Thousands of people every year are killed by shark bullets. They kill even more people than coconuts. Shark bullets. Not even once. Oops, that was dumb. Yeah, if you use uh, No Legs' as a special attack when you're not focused, it spreads out really wide, and if you use it when you are focused, uh, it's really dense. So it's best for bosses when it's tight. Also, why do I keep dodging when I have a shield? I'm just brilliant like that.
Useless health. I love useless health. Ow. So useful. No. No. These things are a bit too easy to kill before they become a problem. At least with no legs. Is that it? Metal earned! I think I got that for... Yeah, let's check out the medals. Yeah, I got that for 10 levels with no legs. There's one for each character. Who's Anna? Lance is the guy from Epic Battle Fantasy. I do not know who Anna is. Boom! Bombs. Yay. Bronze badge, blah blah blah. Oh well, let's get started on the epic level. Crab battle. Let's see if I can do this without a heart. Probably can't, but whatever. I shall see. This will be glorious. Not this part. But soon. Soon. Shields. I wonder if shields die faster if you take lots of hits. By the way, shields do not protect you from bumping into enemies, only bullets. I've tested this. And this, this I love. The bullet patterns are still pretty loose here, but this is more of what a bullet hell boss should be like. Still pretty freaking easy for like the fourth boss in a bullet hell game, but you know, this isn't really meant to be as intense as some others. Which reminds me, I really should play the Gundamonium series as a Let's Play sometime. I love those games. You're down- you're to this already? Ow. I always mess up when he goes to this pattern. Because all of a sudden I have to start moving fast instead of slow. Crap. That's bad. That's not his worst attack pattern, his worst, but uh, it always mixes me up. Also, I love this music so hard. Ow. I do not love bullets to the face, though. There we go. Oh, I have bombs! I never remember this. Ow! I got a medal for dying, yay! Best metal ever. Also, why is it next instead of like return to menu or something? All right, I'll give in and I'll buy one heart, just one, and more damage. And crab battle time, go. Also, the time I fought this before, I had way better attack and stuff. So that's probably why not doing so well. You should probably, like, you know, go back and get some more money before you just charge headlong into the harder enemies. But that would be very boring to show you, so I'm not going to do that, of course. That was quick. There we go. Oh, and I have an extra attack for the boss. I love you so hard, Mr. Crab. Now that makes me think of Spongebob. This is not Mr. Krabs. Mr. Krabs was never this awesome. Just gotta say that. Also, crap. Okay, in my panic to avoid panicking, I panicked and I got hit. I'm not sure if I've ever not taken damage when he switches to this attack mode. So that's awesome. Also, he has a kitty coming out of his shell. Uh oh. Ow. That was slightly mean, sir. Okay, what do you got now? Alright. The bullets that shoot bullets. How quaint. Damn it. I do tend to get hit by these, though. It's a bit more intricate than most of the patterns so far. Now the gloriousness starts. It's beautiful. Doesn't last very long, though. Because I always use a bomb here. I wish that last attack pattern lasted a bit longer. I mean, I used a bomb, but... I just love it. And you can buy shirts and mugs, yay! Next level. 
Oh hey, what's this? Razor Leaf Storm. I will I will try this. Let's buy some upgrades. Uh, sure. I just want to see what this is. Is it a storm of razor leaves? Oh hello. It's a boss. Is this a boss rush or something? What have I gotten myself into? Ow. I've gotten myself into being stupid. And I'm getting a little bit of lag because I'm... This is on high quality and it really shouldn't be while I'm recording, but... It still runs amazingly smoothly. I figured I'd have, I'd have to have, like, ow. Super low settings and all of this crap. Also, I hope this is the only boss, because I'm definitely not going to live through this. I keep doing this. And that slime is adorably happy, I just noticed that. Alright, Mr. Slime, I don't have all day. I've got some CSS to write. Yeah, yeah, purple bullets. I've seen it all. Green orbs, yeah. Sure, there you go. Goodbye. Is that it? Or is there more? That was it, apparently. I guess that was a harder version of that boss? I don't know. But this game is awesome and you should play it.